Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Goy. In our today's video, we will talk about the special products. So, kung isipin natin, ano ba yung tanong, ang tanong dito? Ano ba yung importance ng special products sa basic algebra? So, in mathematics kasi, there are different binomials and trinomials na kailangan natin i-multiply. And this special product, ang magiging purpose ito is it will lessen the time ng pagkakompute mo. It will give you an easier pattern on how to multiply binomials and trinomials. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Yung first pattern na pag-aaralan natin when it comes to special product ay tinatawag nating square of binomial. So we have here actually a binomial na naka-raised by the power of 2 in which kapag in-expand natin siya, it is equivalent to the quantity of a plus b times a plus b in which in basic na ginagawa natin, when we are multiplying this kind of expressions, we will be using FOIL method. For some students, it's quite tasky or mas mahira para sa na to. And for some naman, mas madali. But I will give you the way on how to use square of binomial para mas malesen natin yung time on how to multiply two binomials at the same time. So, we have here. So, paano nga pattern? Paano pattern in doing the square of binomial? Una, you need to recognize first yung first term and second term. In this given example, or in this given binomial, your first term is A. And your second term is B. Now, paano ba ginagawa yung pattern? Or what is the pattern in doing this? Una, is square mo lang sa first term, which is A. So, square the first term. Second step, you need to multiply the product of the first term and second term by 2. So, i-multiply mo muna yung first term mo and second term mo, A times B, this will give you AB. And then, kailangan mo siyang i-multiply by 2. Next step is you need to square the last term or yung second term mo. So, that is plus b squared. And simplifying this, it will give you the product or the pattern a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Ito ngayon yung magiging product mo if you have a plus b squared. So for you to visualize more about this pattern on how to use square of binomial, I have here two examples para mas ma-practice natin yung pattern natin. So we have here example number one, we have the quantity of x plus 3 raised to 2. Again, the quantity of x plus 3 raised to 2. So una, una guys, una, you need to recognize that your first term, again, your first term is x, and your second term is 3. So sabi sa pattern natin, square the first term. Your first term is x, therefore, this will become x squared. Okay? Now, for the second step, all you need to do is to multiply your first and second term. Yung x mo times 3, it will give you positive 3x. And don't forget, kapag kinakuha mo yung middle term, always multiply it by 2. So, times 2. And, for the last part, square the last term. It will give you plus 3 squared. And simplifying this, this will become x squared. And 2 times 3x, this will give you plus 6x. And this one, 3 squared is equivalent to 9. So plus 9. Therefore, the product or the simplified form of x plus 3 raised to 2 is simply x squared plus 6x plus 9. So, I hope na sa first example pa natin, you already know how to apply square of binomial. So, let's move on with item number 2. So, in item number 2 natin, we have here the expression, the quantity of 2x minus 3 raised to 2. Sinadya ko na, ano, na yung sign niya or yung operation niya is subtraction. Para makita niyo kasi na possible siya na gamitin dito. So, for this example, still, we will be using square of binomial. Yung first step natin, your first step is to square your first term. So that will be 
x squared. And then multiply your first term and the second term. You have 2x times negative 3. Again, 2x times negative 3. This will give you negative 6x. And again, don't forget to multiply this by 2. Yung product nila, don't forget to multiply it by 2. And lastly, square your last term, which is plus negative 3. Okay? So what will happen here, kung simplify natin, yung 2x, 2x natin raised to 2, it will give you 4x squared. And if you have negative 2 times 6x, this will give you negative 12x. And for the last one, yung negative 3 squared natin, this will give you plus 9. This is the product of the quantity of 2x minus 3 squared. So, in the first pattern natin for the special products. Now, for the second pattern, we have here in special products, ay hindi tawag natin sum and difference of two binomials. So, explain ko muna paano ginagamit yung, or kailan ginagamit yung sum and difference of two binomials. Una, dapat parehas yung first and second term ng inyong dalawang binomials. Pero, ang pinagkaiba nila ay yung kanilang operation sa gitna. This one is addition and this is subtraction. Or pwede naman sila magbaliktad. This is subtraction and this is addition. So basically, papakita ko sa inyo paano yung manual na ginagawa natin dito. Hindi pa yung mismo pattern. We will be using FOIL method. Kapag ginamit natin yung FOIL method, it will become a times a, that is a squared. And then a times negative b, it will give you negative ab. Tapos, b times a, it will give you plus ab. And then for the last part, b times negative b, it will give you negative b squared. Kung manonotice nyo, magiging zero to. And at the end, it will give you a squared minus b squared. Ngayon, para natin to makukuha using the special product pattern, which is yung summing difference of two binomials. So ang gagawin mo lang dito, Para makuha mo yung iyong desired product using the pattern, first, i-square mo yung first term mo, which is a. So, ang square ng a ay a squared. Next, next step natin or second step natin is, since addition to and, multi and subtraction to, pag multiply mo sila, it will give you negative. So, gawin mo dito negative. Lastly, yung second term mong b, ay square mo lang. And this is the answer. Kung mapansin nyo, we only have 3 steps compared dito sa naunang ginawa natin. Now, for you to visualize more, at para mas maintindihan nyo lalo kung paano ginagamit yung sum and difference of two binomials, I have here two different examples na kung saan sana magamit natin siya ng stupidness. So, for number 1 guys, we have here x plus 5 times x minus 5. So, check mo natin. Parehas ba yung first term? X. Second term parehas. At magkaiba yung sign or yung operation sa gitna. Therefore, pwede natin gamitin yung sum and difference of two binomials. So, una natin gagawin is first first term. So, your first term is X. That is X squared. And then, lagi ang pattern natin ay minus subtraction. And then, second third step natin is to square your second term or last term. And simplifying this, it will give you x squared minus your 5 squared is equal to 25. So, ganun lang kabilis and without using FOIL method, you can use the pattern or you can easily multiply this binomials. So, let's move on with item number 2. With item number 2, we have the quantity of x plus 2y times x minus 2y. So, check muna natin. The first terms are the same. Yung second terms natin ay parehas din. At magkaiba yung operation sa gitna. So, basically, ang gagawin natin dito, get your first term, x, and then square mo siya, that is x squared. And, normally, sa ating pattern, minus agad siya. Yun yung pattern at minus. Yung second term mo, 2y, is square mo lang siya, that will become 2y raised to the second power. And simplifying this to get your final product, 
it will give you x squared minus your 2y squared is simply 4y squared. And this is the product of the quality of x plus 2y times x minus 2y. And tara, ganun na kadali yung paggamit ng sum and difference of two binomials. Now, for the third pattern in our special products edition, we have here the square of trinomials. Kanina, yung first two examples natin or pattern natin ay nakafocus lang siya sa binomials. This time, square of trinomials. So, we have here the quantity A plus B plus C raised to 2. So, in expanded form, this one is like A plus B plus C times A plus B plus C. I think yung multiply natin manually if hindi tayo gagamit ng special products. So, ang pattern natin dito for the special, for the square of trinomials is that, ang gagawin mo ito, una mong gagawin dito is to square the first term and then square the second term which is B square the third term which is C squared. Pero hindi mo natatapos yun dyan. Ang next step dito, yung pang-apat, is that you need to multiply by 2 the product of the first term and second term. So that is 2AB. And fifth step is you need to multiply also by 2 the product of your first term and last term. So that is plus 2AC. And lastly, you need to multiply the product of your second term and third term by 2. So that is plus 2bc. So our pattern is a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus 2ab plus 2ac plus 2bc. At para mas makita niya kung paano siya gamitin, we have your, a single example, we have the quality of 2x plus y minus 3z squared. So we'll stop natin, is e square natin yung first term. Your first term is 2x, so that will be 2x raised to the second power. Next, e square natin yung second term mo, which is y. So that is plus y squared. And third step natin, e square natin yung, yung last term. That is plus negative 3z raised to the second power. Next step natin, is i-multiply mo itong dalawang ito and yung product nila, i-multiply mo ulit by 2. So that will become plus 2x times y, this will give you 2xy, so times 2. So you have 2xy times 2. Next, yung product ng first term and last term, i-multiply mo ulit by 2. So you have... 2 times negative 6xz. And lastly, your product of second term and third term ay kailangan mo rin multiply by 2. So this, this will give you plus 2 times negative 3yc. And simplifying this expression, itong 2x squared natin, this will give you 4x squared. Ito, copy na lang natin. You have y squared. Ito naman, yung negative 3z natin raised to the second power. It will give you plus 9z squared. Ito naman, this will give you plus 4xy. And this one, this is negative 12x Z. And for the last part of this expression, 2 times negative 3, this is negative 6 Y Z. So I hope na yung pattern natin for the square of trinomials ay naintindihan nyo na mas maayos. So again, we also have the last one for this topic special product. Now for the last part of our tutorial, we have here the cube of binomial. If we have the quantity of a plus b raised to the power of 3, ang expanded form niya, kung isipin natin mabuti, ay 
the quality of A plus B times A plus B times A plus B. Mapansin nyo, napakahaba ng process ito kapag nilutipinay natin siya manually. So, meron tayong pattern, the square of binomial, in which ganito yung ginagawa. Una, to get the product of the cube of binomial, ang gagawin mo lang is to is, uh, is to cube the first term or erase mo sa power ng 3 ang first term mo, which is a cube. Next, ang gagawin mo sa next term naman dito is that you have to multiply by 3 the product of the square of your first term and second term. Parang ganito mangyayari siya. 3 a square b. Yung multiply mo sa 3, yung product ng square ng first term at yung second term mo. At para makuha mo yung third term nito, ang gagawin mo naman is imumultiply mo sa 3 yung product ng first term at yung square ng second term which is b cube a b squared next for the last term i cube mo lang yung second term mo that will become b cube so para mas magamit natin yung pattern na to i have here an example which is 2x plus 5 raised to the third power so para magawa natin yung cube nitong binomial na to follow na natin pattern natin una is uh, cube the first term, which is 2x. So that will become 2x cube. Yeah. Next, you multiply that as a 3. So you have plus 3 times yung square ng first term. Ang first term ay 2x squared. So lagi natin dito manually 2x squared at times yung yung second term. So times 5. Next up natin is i-multiply muli by 3 yung yung first term. Ito yung pattern natin dito na tayo ha. You have times 2x at yung square ng second term mo. So you have 5 square. And lastly, i-cube mo lang yung second, yung second term mo which is 5 cube. So pag simplify natin to, ang value or ang simplified form ng 2x to the power of 3 is simply 8x cube. And para naman dito, unti-unti lang natin na, it will become plus 3 times 4x squared times 5. Para dito naman, this is plus 3 times 2x times 25. And for the last term, you have plus 125. Ito yung value ng 5 cube. Now, to simplify this, this is 8x squared, 8x cube. Ito naman, 3 times 4, this will give you 12. Times 5, this one is plus 60. Tapos yung variable mo ay x squared. For this part, you have here 3 times 2, this will give you 6 times 25, that is 150x. So plus 150x and plus 125. So ito naman ay medyo haba but still, we'll, we are applying pattern para mas mapadali natin yung pag cube ng isang binomial. Again, if you have any suggestion or requested topic para discuss natin sa ating tutorial video, you can comment down below sa ating comment section para makita ko ano yung mga kailangan yung video. Now, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button para updated sa ating mga future uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!